guys welcome back to my channel um i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i know it's a monday getting back to work um not a good uh feeling to be off for a few days and then having to get back into the the um thick of things getting back to work and getting into the routine but we all got to do it so anyway i just wanted to shout out larry ann mama larj happy birthday today she is like one of the first YouTubers that I started watching and getting ideas from. And um, we've kind of had like a little friendship going on. And, you know, she kind of helps me out, gives me little ideas and things like that. So she is like a super mom. She does like photography. She does her YouTube channel. And she does like so much. So um, you guys go to her channel, show her some love or go to her Instagram. Um, I'm a large show her some love. Today is her, her birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Okay, so anyway, guys, I wanted to um, try something different today. Um, my cousin um, Joyce has been raving about this place called Kick and Crab, and it's in St. Louis. So shout out to Kick and Crab because she said you guys are the bomb. So I'm going to try it. Today I have some snow crab, I have corn, I have some potatoes, and some Polish there. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dig in. I have gloves, I have, I'm all dressed up, just, you know, have my protection on. Um, I've never had crab like this, and it's all like the sauces on it. And I think it's the kicking crab sauce. It's the mild, um, so it's not spicy or anything. So let's dig in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My day is going okay so far, but it's going good now that I'm home and being able to enjoy this. So, I'm getting it all juiced up here. And this is what it looks like. It's a lot of sauce in there, so. Hmm. pretty good yeah it's good I would go back there I know um when she brought it back today it smelled really good and I was like hmm it smells pretty good I couldn't wait to taste it so yeah it's good it's a little messy but it's good though I like it I would go there again so, sorry that it's not like neat because it's not going to be neat all this sauce <laughs> it's good mm -hmm. so shout out kicking crab it's good so this is the corn mm. it's good too Mm -hmm. mm. It's nice. It has a little kick to it. I know this is going to be messy. I'm sorry, guys. Mm. Mm. The sausage is good, too. Mmm. This is really nice. Just want to eat just a little bit and then we'll get into our topic of the day. We have been getting some crazy weather up here in the Midwest. It's been raining and snowing and getting up to 60 degrees. It's so confusing. It's like, well, what are you gonna do? Make up your mind. Can't wait till the, the weather breaks and it just starts getting a little bit warmer because I'm not a fan of cold weather. Not a fan. Sorry guys, this is very messy.
Mm. <coughs> wow. <coughs> oh, wow. It does have a kick <coughs> in the back of your throat. Wow. Woo. About tears to my eyes. Woo. I have to get some water after that. <coughs> wow. goodness i think i'm okay <laughs> all right guys so the topic of the day i just want to kind of talk about love that's why we kind of have the heart down there if you guys can see it valentine's coming up and i just want to kind of see what you guys are doing for valentine's what kind of ideas do you guys have what do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. Do you think that the guys should just give the girls a gift? Or should the girls give the guys a gift? Or should they both like exchange? Well, me, I've been married for a few years. And I think that we both could like give each other a small little token. It doesn't have to be expensive or anything like that. It's really a token of love, you know? And that token of love could be like, you know, a bottle of perfume or cologne or something like that. You don't have to like go overboard, you know, which some people do, which is fine. You know, everybody's pockets are, you know, different. But yeah, I just think like it just depends on, you know, like I said, the pocket, the purse, and, you know, just the token of love. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive for me. You know, some guys, you know, might give you like a name brand purse or, you know, just throwing ideas out there for the guys. You know, like a purse or a bottle of uh, kind of, you know, perfume that the girl might, might like or, you know, your wife might like or something like that. But, yeah, I just think it's all in the token of love. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Pretty nice. I think I have a potato in there too. Let's see what that tastes like. Mm, mm, mm. Want some? <laughs> My son's allergic, so he can't eat it. <laughs> Man, this paper towel is done for. <laughs> mm. I do have a bib on, so it's like I'm getting on there too. Let's try the potato. Mm. It's good. Mm. Mm. I didn't get any eggs in there, which I really like the eggs with the boiled but so far. I'm gonna have eggs next time. But this is good though. I will be eating it again. As I discussed in my last video, um, it's kind of hard to get good crab, but I don't live in St. Louis, but I do work in St. Louis, so I can get, you know, different food from restaurants and bring it home, different things like that, but what I can say is about St. Louis. We really didn't have a lot of like seafood places, but they they are popping up. So we have like a few that are new, you know, coming new to St. Louis like a uh, Mad Crab, but they open up like at 3 p.m. It's not too far from where I, I work at and then 
this place that I've never tried before, uh, Kick and Crab, is uh, on Olive in St. Louis. So, mm. very tasty. It's fresh. It doesn't taste fishy or anything. Mm. So let me know, comment below and let me know if you guys are getting like some new crab places that are popping up and things like that. Crab is just really becoming popular lately. It is really good. It's an alternative to chicken and hamburgers. <laughs> what a lot of people, you know, eat all the time. But yeah, ever since I've been in, in the mukbang community, like so many people are eating crab. It's like the mukbang staple. <laughs> Hmm? I'm not going to stay on much longer, guys. I just wanted to bring the food to you guys. Hmm? Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. What are you saying? What? Oh. <laughs> My son wants me to eat the cookie. It was actually really for decoration, but I guess I can't eat it as well. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll take these dirty hands off. I enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. So, since we were talking about love, I guess I do have to eat it. <laughs> I like these cookies from St. Louis Bread Company, don't get me wrong, but I don't like all the sugar that they put on it. So, you know, St. Louis Bread Company, if you're listening, make some without the sugar stuff. <laughs> Here we go. It's not bad. It just tastes like sugar. You really don't get the cookie taste too much. So, I'm not gonna eat any more of that. We're gonna save that to later or give it to Bryson. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut it there. I hope you guys had fun. I try to bring you guys good com content. And um, I will see you next time. Until then, Happy eating.